his strategy simplified. It's Japheth here, your producer, and I really quickly wanted to pop in to tell you about Black Belt. So if you're targeting a consulting role at a firm like McKinsey, Bain, BCG, Deloitte, Oliver Wyman, Accenture, you name it, Black Belt is a structured case prep program that might be exactly what you need to push you over the hump and land that offer. So it is a structured case coaching program where you'll get one-on-one coaching from a former McKinsey, Bain, or BCG consultant. You'll also get a year of free access to our new community for exclusive employer info sessions, uh, training, master classes, uh, community support, and much more. Last but not least, you get unlimited digital materials to support your case prep progress. Oh, and by the way, over 80% of Black Belts who complete the program land a consulting role. That's pretty incredible. So we'd love to see you inside of Black Belt. Join at the link in the show notes. One of the most common questions we get about consulting is, is my resume good enough? And usually the subtext to that question is, I don't have a business degree. I don't have a business background. I don't have an MBA. Am I good enough for consulting? And the answer is absolutely, potentially, yes. We're gonna walk through five keys in this episode for ways that if you don't have a business degree or a business background, that you can fill in those gaps and make sure that you're prepared to get the job in consulting. But we're also going to share highlights of the ways that consulting firms think about your skills and the training that you'll receive to fill in those gaps as well. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. Are you looking to break into management consulting, but you don't have a business degree, an MBA, or a business background at all? We would love to help you. And in fact, we've helped thousands of people break into consulting from non-business backgrounds. Now, these could be folks who have come in from analytical backgrounds, scientists and engineers, PhDs, but it can also be people who have come from completely outside the analytical or the business realm. Folks like religion majors, real estate agents, and more. We've developed five keys after working with so many people to help them break into consulting that you can use to build your pathway into one of the most competitive fields on earth. Number one, you have to highlight your transferable skills that have prepared you to do the job of consulting. To be clear, you will spend in your first couple of years, 80% of your time in Excel in most consulting jobs, unless you come in as an expert. So you have two main choices here. Number one, you need to demonstrate that you have analytical skills, that you used Excel to solve a problem, build a plan, or run analysis, that you used analytical dashboards or even advanced tools like Stata. Otherwise, you need to demonstrate that you have expertise in a subject matter. Let's say you're an MD or a lawyer who's breaking into consulting. Demonstrate what your expertise was built in before you can go into consulting so that you can demonstrate that when you're there, you can serve as an expert advisor. This parallels the two tracks inside consulting. One is for generalists, where you'll learn general analytical tools to solve any business problem. And the second is for experts, where you're applying your specific industry knowledge, relationships, and expertise to advise projects in a specific direction. If you're not sure what skills to use, what experiences are relevant, or in general, how to present things on your resume, we would love to help you. We have worked with thousands of people to build a resume that is consulting specific, but you can also use it for other jobs as well. It's the best in class option for your story, and we'd love to help you build it. You may have relevant skills and experience already, but some of you aren't quite there yet. Once we've either evaluated your resume or you've done a self-evaluation, we've identified that you've got some gaps. Well, we would recommend a few different ways that you can fill them. The first and most obvious way is to get a job or an internship or even a short externship with a role that focuses on specific business expertise and more specifically, analytics. This can even be in something like operational management for a brewery, for example. Once you do one of those kinds of experiences, then you have the ability to translate that in your resume to the kind of consulting relevant experience. But if you don't get a job, you can also build your own project. In fact, we've helped hundreds of people work with business accelerators 
on university campuses to develop their own consulting projects. You do them for free, you set the parameters, and then you put that experience on your resume. If you don't feel like you have opportunities or the initiative to build your own project, we do it for you. We have a program called Strategy Sprint, where for one week you become a consultant. We source the project, we mentor you, we train you, and we build in you the skills that you'll need to both apply your work in consulting so you can put it on your resume, but also so you can self-assess whether this field is right for you. In addition, if you're really entrepreneurial and you swing to the other side, start a business. A business is as easy as building a landing page for a concept that you have. It could be something simple like lawn care. It can be something complicated like advanced analytics for a specific industry. One way or the other, if you're able to get one purchase, you're in business. And you can talk about those insights and put that experience on your resume. Plus, you might have just developed a whole secondary income source for yourself, which will be incredible. Finally, there are many consulting clubs that are available. The majority of them are on college campuses, but some of them are also available inside your community. These clubs enable you to structure projects, do actual consulting work, and prepare for the job of consulting. All in all, these are ways that you can fill the gaps in your experience and build a different story than the one that you have today. Hey, Strategy Simplified, it's Japheth here, and I'm quickly popping in to tell you about Strategy Sprint. Strategy Sprint is a week-long virtual consulting project that allows you to add US-based work experience to your resume. So you work in a small team, you get mentored by a former McKinsey, Bain, or BCG consultant, and you solve a strategic growth issue for a real world client. So that means you gain incredible skills and experience that looks amazing on your resume. We are running several sprint projects throughout this year. Check out the dates and the link to register at the link in this episode's show notes. We look forward to welcoming you to a future strategy sprint project. Number three, crush the networking process. Many people who come from outside a business background and outside of a school environment, or one or the other, find that they're often feeling like they're at a disadvantage. Their network doesn't feel strong. The good news is cold networking is very possible inside consulting firms, and they do have a stated interest in drawing in people from backgrounds that are different. However, they're not hiring you because you're different. They're hiring you because you're different and skilled. Don't forget that. You want to still leverage in your networking the background and experience that has prepared you to do the analytical job really well. But a little color can add some fun to the networking process, build in great conversations, and help you get referrals into consulting firms, which change your chances by up to 80%. Number four. You can prepare for case interviews as a way to build your own business knowledge and experience. I've done, at this point, hundreds of case interviews in my life, and I enjoy every single one because one that's about peanut butter is different than one that's about books. One that's about licensed managed care for real estate is different than something that's about licensed managed care for healthcare. There are parallels, but there are also nuances and differences. And case interviews can be some of your best instructors for the business world, business metrics, and business analytics. So if you don't know where to start, dive into our free case interview prep course and our free case interview prep plan. These can be amazing places to go get some business knowledge by working through real problems on your own. In addition, if you know that consulting is the dream of your heart, then you can pursue for us the Black Belt program, or you can work with somebody on at least one interview where you practice case interviews out loud. You can read, you can study, you can listen to case interviews, but what's even better, especially if you know you have an interview or plan to have one, is to dive right in with some out loud practice. So don't forget, there's an academic portion to the case interview process, but there's also a practical preparation portion, and you don't want to forget that as well. Finally, and if you pursue the other options that I've already stated above, 
and you don't feel like you're ready and you do want more experience, of course, advanced degrees and certifications are a great way to go fill in those gaps. Really, an advanced degree or certification is an expensive but structured way to do all of what I just told you before. You'll get access to job opportunities. You'll be able to build consulting projects and have clubs on campus. You'll be able to network and you'll work on things like case interviews. But the advanced degree in the certification is a part of a larger picture, something in your life that you might also want to have later on. So if you pursue some of the other options and they don't work out and or if you just feel like a structured program is going to be the best way for you to break in, we have a list of highly recommended options for you to dive into from an advanced degree perspective and from schools that support their students in consulting. Beyond the schools, you're looking for programs that are really going to focus on these skills that I've talked about today. Number one, analytics. Anything that's a master's in analytics or an MBA or a heavy analytical program is going to be advantageous for you. Number two, you're going to want to focus on schools that have a top pedigree. That pedigree will relate to more job opportunities for you. And number three, you want to look for schools that have a strong alumni network and a history of placement into the jobs that you're looking for. You can ask for that data directly from the Career Services Office. In short, it's totally possible and actually probable for you to enter into consulting from a non-business background. The good news is that consultants feel like they could take just about anybody off the street if they had a willing attitude, an appetite to learn, and a desire to push through hard things and train them in the skills, the experience, and the expertise needed for consulting. They have world-class training programs that are like none other, and you will go through hundreds of hours of direct training as well as one-on-one -on -one mentorship when you're inside the firm. So many of the skills that you'll need after a year, you're going to build on the job, but they do need to see that you have an indicated interest, an appetite, and an aptitude for keys like business analytics and a business background, whether you have it in your career or not. We hope that you found this really, really useful. But if you do have further questions, you can always reach out to us directly by email, or you can follow us for more great content. Thanks so much for listening to this episode on breaking into consulting without a business degree or a business background. We love working with people from non-traditional backgrounds. It's part of the fun of what we do. But if you're not sure if your resume is good enough, why don't you just shoot it to us in an email, team at managementconsulted.com. We'll tell you if the resume itself is already ready to go, if you need a resume edit, or if you need different kinds of experience. And we can recommend how we can help you in that process. You can always follow us for more great content on this podcast. And if you want to join us for a future strategy sprint to build some business content or Black Belt to focus on case interviews, we would love to help with both of those as well. Thank you so much for joining. Make sure you subscribe, like, listen, and comment.